All right, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel, Connor on Chain. So I'm going to be talking about some AI coins specifically today. Um, I wanna to talk about a few that I haven't covered too often recently. Um, so let's just get into it. Obviously, you know, I'm gonna talk about a couple that I've covered fairly often, as you all know, if you've seen some of my previous videos, even I think the last couple as well. So, you know, let me pull up um, trading view here. So, like I said, we got a bunch of different AI coins that, you know, some of them have been moving pretty well over the last couple of days. But, you know, Bitcoin has been still in this kind of correction area, correction phase. You know, it's at 62.3 right now. And this is kind of exactly what I've been expecting to happen. You know, from this dip came back up it came back down so i expect some chop in between this area of 65 to about 60 and i think this is going to be the deciding factor if we are going to continue bouncing trending a little bit lower maybe to mid 50s or if we do have a heavy break of this this is going to be a good sign that we probably are going to continue another leg um, but that's more this is more so what I'm gearing towards and preparing for I do believe that we have More upside to go from here again if it bounces, you know, it's probably gonna break through but at the same time, you know, it's still Fairly early in whatever this kind of cycle Whatever you guys believe, you know, we could see more chop as well It could break through this and not really hold and then we chop more and more sideways Could dip even further until we have like another massive push to the upside worst case you know maybe we do come down a little bit more we chop for another month couple months and then eventually bitcoin just has that moment where it you know really does pump right so again let's cover some ai coins that i want to bring up um so the first one like i said i want to bring up render because render has been moving like very well against the rest of the market um, the chart the chart I think looks perfect and obviously this bounce was eight up very quick and it's it is showing signs that you know this is probably gonna continue up it's almost back at all-time highs already a little bit off of it but you know we could see this bounce again it's we could see just heavy bouncing you know creating some sort of flag pattern something like this you know I do expect this probably same kind of thing is gonna happen this is up a little bit, could come back down, chop around. But render looks very good. And again, I still think it's kind of leading most of the AI narrative. And then same with BitTensor. BitTensor is still down a little bit, but it is in this general support. And same thing, you know, it bounced, had another bounce back down. You know, we could see a third bounce. And as long as this kind of holds, and you know, even the RSI is starting to look pretty good, it's it's down here in the 30s to 40s, which we could eventually just see this start to pick up as well. You know, I think if this kind of trends up, boom. Like we could start something, we could see this red line, you know, just start to trend up as well. So easily we could see some of that happening. So AI, again, I th still believe AI is going to be one of the top narratives, no matter what, in this cycle. You know, AI is just going to be a top narrative, so you know, render, tau, or I, and then I, this is what I'm going to cover for now, because I did cover these in another video, I think the other day, but we're going to get into a, two other ones in one second here. Um, or I, you know, came back down, it's mainly consolidating at its lows right now. You know, I still think this could be a great long-term entry, but please do your research. This is not financial advice. Just based off technicals, it does look really good. And I know for Aura, the fundamentals are very strong. But for a nice dip play, this does look very good. And this is on a daily chart. I like to look at pretty much every chart from a long-term time frame perspective. You know, I never try to play it on, you know, like the 30 minute, 15. You know, you really got to just zoom out when it comes to the market here, right? But, you know, as you can see, kind of similar as well. Even a bounce, you know, this looks like it could be some sort of triple bottom happening we had. This dip came back down again, and we could see this chop. Maybe it tries to push up, 
comes back down one more time, you know, before finally trending up, retesting, bouncing, making another pattern, and then starting to finally move. We could see something like that. But again, Ori does look like it's in a great area. Just, uh, you know, jump in, hold it for a while, and just be patient in the market. But obviously, this market's very, very risky. And actually, real quick, too, I mean, Trump on ETH is up 50%. You know, Trump just dropped something. Or, I'm sorry, he didn't drop something, but he just, he was talking about crypto. I don't know where it was, if it was on the news or on like a social media outlet, but he was talking about crypto and how he's just pretty bullish on it, which I think is super good. And I think for the markets as well, political fi memes and stuff is going to be a huge narrative that many should be allocating to. And I'm, I'm going to drop a video on that pretty soon as well. But all right, let's get into the two AI coins now. So I'm going to pull up deck screener for this. So we'll leave trading view. And so the first one that I want to bring up is called Spectral Labs or Spectral and the ticker is spec. So this is actually a very bullish project in my opinion. You know, I, I think I mean the chart alone, it does look like it's kind of flatlining. It's a little bottomed. This is on the one hour, but it did just launch, <clears throat> you know, literally days ago. Um, and with spectral though, you know, there's a lot of very good things I'm going to dive into real quick with a couple of things that I question um, But I think a lot of the positives with this project heavily outweigh, you know, like the negatives um, And so spectral is on base. It is on Ethereum. It's on both chains So you could kind of consider this like an an AI play on base, which I think is pretty cool There's not many if any on base right now, you know and so Spectral Labs, I'm going to link in the video right here above. Um, when I talked about this about a month ago on YouTube, I was waiting for this to launch. And so I'm talking about it now because, again, I'm really, really bullish on this project. So they have a lot of very strong backers, including, you know, Circle, Polychain Capital, they got Franklin Templeton. And Google Google Gradient Ventures, which is like an AI focused, basically like a Google venture capitalist type firm, whatever you want to call it. Um, but it is on Google's website for that. It's you know I think it's like a fairly new thing for Google, but they just focus heavily on AI startups. And Spectral Labs is actually one of the only. AI and just crypto related projects on you know underneath this kind of Google gradient ventures which is I think it's pretty cool you know they got big backers which you know when you see projects with big backers though a lot of times that means you have a lot of VCs that also means that there could be a decent amount of sell pressure especially right off the rip right off bat you know, I don't want to say we've seen that because a lot of times, I mean, this launch, it's not like this launched at $480 and dumped. Um, but sometimes these wicks just happen. But obviously from launch, this just hasn't done anything yet, which that is something that I do question. And the main thing that I question with Spectral is that I cannot find any info on their tokenomics. Because again, when you're talking about VCs and you have a lot of heavy backing, you know, there probably was a, like some pre-sale, some private sale, some seed investments here. But I do not know what the vesting schedule is. I don't know what the unlock schedule is. You know, and I've, I've tried to look for this now for a little while. I can't specifically find it, which that is one of the main issues I have with it right now. And again, if you guys are... If you guys have that link, you know, drop it below. If you guys know what this the tokenomics are and you know that it's bullish, then you know this issue for me, you can kind of throw to the side. Just for me personally, I I I don't want to invest in something, jump into something or even talk about something heavily, you know, until I really know. But with this one, I do think this has a ton of potential long term. This could be a huge AI agent play which is why I'm still bringing it up today. But again, this is not, I'm not trying to tell you that this is a buy signal video. Like I don't want you guys to just ape into this just 
excuse me, just because I'm talking about it, but bottom line, they have a lot of stuff going on. And again, I'll link the video above at some point in this video where I go very in depth with what they're building, what they're doing. But yeah, they have on-chain agents basically. So they have like a dApp in which you can create smart contracts. You can create these AI agents and to them, what an AI agent is, you know, is kind of just like inside of their coding. You know, they can use coding, um, I don't know what I'm saying, coding creations, yeah. You can create AI agents out of, you know, these contracts that you're writing in and you can kind of build certain things out of it. And right now they just have, I don't know if it's actually fully out yet, a lot of the stuff that they're working on, but eventually they want to integrate you know trading bots and stuff like that but right now you know you can code contracts and they have specific like meme coin um, contracts in which you can literally just instantly launch a meme coin just like you see here which is very cool and you can actually deploy these contracts directly from this app I'm like I don't know why I'm talking about it and not showing you so this is kind of like their beta this is their app but I do like this project a lot. So as you can see, yeah, so it's, it's almost like an LLM in which you can ask it different questions. Let's say, yo, I don't even know if it's gonna respond. Okay, it does. I, I don't know if it's gonna give me some coding or something. Deploy me a meme coin that has a 80% sell tax. Let's see what it says. All right, so I'm launching a meme coin now, guys. Just know when you sell, you're gonna lose all of it. Again, I'm just kidding. This is I'm just messing around. But anyways, so just for a reference, so it kind of shows you this here. So obviously, this is I don't know if this is gonna be 100% exactly correct. I never tell anyone to, you know, even if you're gonna use like ChatGPT or NKI to you know, code a contract, you definitely got to check over everything with other people, you know, with other platforms, just make sure it looks 100% right. Um, but bottom line, you can kind of like deploy this just directly from the app, which is mainly what I want to show you, which is really cool. You, know, you can connect your wallet, which I think that's why it's not really working. You can also test it. But it's really cool. So I do like this. And I think, um, yeah, you know, I think I tried to film another video. I did the same thing. 74% tax. But anyways, I just want to show you guys this just for reference. And again, you can connect your wallet. I got my name. But I do like this platform. I like this project. And again, I think it just has the fundamentals to really run and have a great bull run. But again, the main thing I want to you guys to know is make sure... Again, I'm, I'm trying to find the tokenomics because I want to show everybody. And when I do, I want to talk about it again in another video. But I really do like Spectral outside of that. But again, I'm not invested in this, nor am I investing in it yet until I know that information. And so again, that's why I want you to take this video as just knowledge. in you know, just so you guys know a little bit about what it does here. But I'm very bullish on this one again. And again, this, you can get it on base, which I probably recommend so you can avoid gas fees in the future on ETH. Um, and so we're going to talk about FX1. And their ticker is actually FXI. But so FX1, initially I also made a video about this all the way back in October and November. You know, this is when it just launched. I was talking about it. I completely missed the boat though. You know, I talked about it all the time, completely faded it. You know, went from under a million in market cap upwards of, I don't know if it was like 15 million, 20 million, but easy 15 to 30 X, you know, if you guys were getting in at the lows in that video, which I don't expect many people to have seen that, you know, cause I just started YouTube basically in, I think September of 2023. So, you know, it's, it is what it is. But the reason why I'm bringing this up is cause this project also has very strong fundamentals. And it is now down to 4.8 million in market cap. You know, chart, a lot of people would question this chart doesn't look good, but to me, the fundamentals behind this project is very, very bullish. 
So we're gonna go to FX1 and what they do, what they offer, you know, they are AI combat sports analytics. So they offer a lot of AI based, I guess, analytics, if you wanna put it. You know, when it comes to different sports games and for sports betting, you know, they're trying to come at it in a sense where you can use their platform, you can look into a lot of the AI analytics and it will give you a better assumption or better decision on sports bets, you know, whether it's, you know, they talk about UFC, you know, some of the things I've seen, you know, they, they have, um, they have different, uh, like I said, analytics with it. And, you know, I was going to go into it, but, um, I want you guys to look into this as well. But again, different analytics to give you a better choice for who you want to bet on depending on whatever sport. I think they got a few sports right now. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I really think this is very undervalued at current levels. Um, and the team is doxxed, which I do like. You know, they had a great launch. They launched on Proof Platform, which is another coin, another project I made a video on. It's kind of like a launch pad, but you know, when coins launch out of Proof, you know, it's kind of like it's a very, like, you almost know that this coin launched out of proof, like, okay, you know it's going to be pretty safe, you know it's going to be pretty solid. Um, but again, the launch had a good, great launch. And, like I said, I want you guys to just check into this. You can go back, yeah, I guess pulled the website up, but... Yeah, I wish you go a little bit more in depth with it, but, um... Like I said, sometimes when I try to talk about projects... You know, I, I can't put words together. I don't know why. But I do like FX1. And again, I'm not invested in this one yet. But I, I am thinking about it very heavily. But for me, I think what I want to see is some sort of bottom here. You know, if this can bounce, show strength, you know, that it's going to be having another move up. Which, in due time, I really do think it will. But I think I do want to see some sort of bottom really form. Because obviously this has just been down, you know, lower high, lower low. It's probably gonna have a lower high. And if it continues to drop, continues to drop, you know, then this is probably just gonna eventually find its bottom before it makes a higher low, breaking this downtrend. You know, maybe it comes back down, bounces again, and then restarts. So that's gonna be what I'm waiting for. Just strength that this is going to reverse, you know. But again, I do like everything about this. I think this FX1 team was actually on Hello Labs TV show, like their crypto show. And you guys can actually watch that as well, which is pretty cool. But I just wanted to bring these up again because like, I haven't talked about FX1 in months. You know, mainly because I was salty that I missed an entry on this months ago. But, you know, I was kind of waiting for a heavy correction on this. And that correction is finally here, so... Again, I'm waiting for a potential entry here on me missing the boat initially, right? But so, that's FX1. You know, and that's kind of what I wanted to cover today in this video. Just these couple other AI coins that, you know, I have talked about previously. I haven't brought up recently, though. But very strong fundamentals. And so, again, just to recap, FX1 waiting for a bottom before any sort of entry. And I want you guys to just look into it. You can check Twitter, look at the sentiment. You can see who's talking about it. And same thing with Spectral Labs. I want to find out more about their tokenomics. I'm sorry that I couldn't find it today. You know, I've spent a, a good amount of time trying to find it. Went through a lot of different websites, platforms, you know, blogs. Even just all over Twitter. But just cannot find it. But if I do, I'll probably make another video updating that info. And... Yeah, just, well, actually, I just want to cover NKI, because, bro, oh, no, there's, you know what, I'm going to cover one more. There's actually another AI coin that actually is kind of related to NKI right now. So, as you guys know, NKI is, you know, my literal top AI coin for this cycle. I love this project. I love their LLM. But something that I feel like many people don't know is there's another project called Lush AI. And so this is sitting pretty low, you know, it had a bottom, came down very heavily, just like, you know, 80% of the market. But it's come down and 
you know, Lush AI is pretty interesting because we'll jump into it real quick here. So first influencing uh, influencer and modeling agency powered by AI. So the reason why I'm bullish on this and how it relates to NKI is, you know, this, I guess it's kind of like an OnlyFans using fully AI generated, you know, content creators basically. But with Lush, <clears throat> excuse me, with Lush, they actually integrated NKI's LLM. And the reason why for that, you know, I don't want to go too in depth with why, but you know, when you have an uncensored LLM, you know, when you have men interacting with women, obviously, you know how in depth some of these convos can go, right? And certain LLMs like ChatGBT probably can't go very in depth, you know, with some of this, some of the stuff that goes on. But, um, you know, using like an uncensored LLM, that is a very strong use case, in my opinion, you know, to be able to interact with these people from like, you know, from the AI's perspective, you know, and I, I guess with Lush, I want to see a little bit more development on their end, but you know, from, you know, what I've seen so far, very bullish in my opinion. Um, but yeah, again, this one, I've actually never talked about Lush on the channel here, but this has been on my radar all the way back since like, I think kind of when it launched in February. But again, the reason why I'm bringing it up too is, you know, the chart looks pretty good. This is showing signs of strength doesn't look like it's a hundred percent bottomed yet again i'd like to see some confirmation if it breaks through this kind of chills you know shows some strength here and then starts to look into higher highs right if it pulls something like this has a double bottom you know this could be a great long-term entry for lush as well um so yeah as far as for the rest of this video that's what i got for you guys today just wanted to cover some more AI coins that I personally have a lot of faith in that I'm pretty bullish on. And like I said, Lush is pretty interesting to me. And be, yeah, pretty much all the ones that I've showed you, even the classics like Render, Tau, Ori, you know, NKI, those are like some, some of the four that I cover very often on the channel. But you know, these other three I mentioned, Lush, FX1 or FXI is the ticker. And Spectral Labs definitely have a lot of potential, you know, going into the next few months. So that's what I got for you guys today. I appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.